So we'll move over here. Also note that clan vassals are not actually vassals. Who are you? My vassal. And you would like... No. Come on, man. Damn it. Fine. We need to conquer more land. So we're over our land limit and this makes them like us less. He is not a counselor, so he would like to be a counselor. Let's make him a counselor. What is he good at? Oh, he's a decent marshal, actually. Very good. Let's train our warriors. Will you? He is raiding us. Oof. Well, that's a shame. His ruler changed or died, so now we have a new guy and no truce anymore, I believe. Oh, so we can go south. No, what is this? East. South. Yeah, totally south. So let's crush him first as he raids. And then we attack him. So his army is going to be damaged already. And find better people. Set. Load again. Oh, hello there. And this guy too. Why not? So again, the plan is we fight him here while we're not at war, beating his troops, decreasing his morale. Then we declare war and we immediately attack a weakened foe. Sounds terrible. Sounds really mean. That's how you do it. Um, and I'm looking at the wrong thing. Get new commanders going. Oh, really good people. Taking care of business. He's a flank guy. He shouldn't be on the flank. Stop putting him not on the flank. I don't even know how much reading is worth here. Can't be much. Maybe one or two gold or something. So he's beat. And now we go ahead. No invasion. We shall go for the purpose of this. But we know his troops are going to flee here. Let's get our this guy. He can help. After all, I just helped him. Should be moving here. And not far. They should land here. Okay, now he's moving away still. Fine, then we shall go here. Take his land. Right, let's wait until he's locked in his movement. And then we move here. Oh. Or that. Right. So we give this land to this guy. And have our look. Lower titles too. So, how many troops do you got? 400. Oh man. Yes, someone's going to be expanded into.
Let's take this. And he can help because we are increasing his area. We're not going to get our other vassal involved. He can help. Or is he at war with someone? Come on, guy. Help out. Do something for the money I pay you. Or rather, the money you pay me. Uh. Yeah, Kazaria is trying to go in here. Oh, yeah, they already... They got them. Kazaria got to them. Not to them, though. Okay, how is a vassal of someone else their tributary? Interesting. Do we want to be lustful? Nah. It chased. Oh yeah, being a threat for this might be really, really hard. Because you're so reliant on a, on growing all the time. Next on the agenda is this guy. I think. Yeah, we should have him beat with all our allied troops. Who are not moving anywhere. I'm impressed. He's not a new guy. Shame, but we could try to kill him. Have a new guy sit on the throne. Let us. Let us try to kill him. No one wants to join us. Send our spy master to help kill this man. Don't want to build a workshop, no thank you. Oh, he's raising his troops finally. Opening up this helps us too because we get access to two areas which we can raid, which are quite wealthy. I'm not even sure how these guys are raiding down here. Ow. Oh, man. Zarya is always so strong. 2,400. Not from their own people, mind you, just from all the allies they got. All the vassals. Can we improve something at home? We should. We definitely should. Let's see. Defenses. Maximum population. Probably not the worst thing, but we're still growing, so it's not all that important. Nomad tax. Morale of armies, that's that's a strong one. Population growth, I think, is where we should go after finding more manpower stuff. And camp fortifications wouldn't be bad either. So would be the clan gathering hall. <laughs> Not easy. Not easy at all. Hmm. I think we should... Let's go with the fishing villages. It's the cheapest and gives a decent, fairly decent bonus. We trust our wife to not bring illegitimate children here. Why exactly are my children prisoners? Of whom? Who are you? And why do you have my children? What the hell, mate? Can 
I declare war against you without inviting... Good. Because I'm going to take this thing. From the guy who's... Why doesn't my council want to do that? Do we need to talk about council issues? Okay, we can't abolish. Since we are nomadic, we will always have to have a council, it looks like. Sure, let's take care of the wife. Okay, we are at the point where we really need to stop. With the wars. We can go raid after this is done. But we need to stop to replenish our armies. Come on, you guys can go siege something else. Maybe. Ah, oh, no, let's stick together. Not there's there's some surprise. We have some prisoners to maybe ransom. Guy. Ten gold is ten gold. I'm not saying no to that. Another girl. doesn't want to help a fella out. He went all the way around to attack me. Alright, let's tell our friends to go hunt the enemy. Maybe they will, but it doesn't look like it. This guy annoys me. Why is he not helping? Worst tributary ever. Hey dude, go take that back. I can't be bothered to move all around the world. Get it back. We're accumulating quite a tiny sum, so. Oh, the horse breeder is cheap. Let's get all the cheap ones first. Let's build up a baseline of things. Let's give her a buzzard. Really willing to pass too much with the wife there. Good. <clears throat> Retaking our stuff. We could also push into this. I just realized. Very good. We have quite a few options in the east. Ninety-nine percent. Let's attack them straight head on. With our allies together, that should be it then. Are they losing? Ah, Step does not lose. Cavalry is just way too overpowered. <clears throat> there we go. Done and done. Now we go ahead and pillage all that.
Well, the pillaging takes a while for it to finish, but that's okay. Let's actually build camp fortifications. So, the looting. Still over the clan limit. But they're not demanding land, at least. Actually, keep them here. Set them to pillage. And pillage here. What was I saying about keeping, you know, low for a moment? Making sure we don't overdo it. Are we losing money? Probably our troops here. Yeah, the replenishment of these. There's nothing to be pillaged. That took everything already. Uh, right, let's send our troops to home. Nothing to be done. Put them up here. So this last piece was absorbed. My horde has looted, ravaged, pillaged, and plundered. The holding has been completely devastated. Excellent. We're still pillaging this one. We're getting all kinds of money out of pillaging stuff, so that's nice. Can't build a trade post. I don't like that our capital was looted. I like it at all. We just want raising land. No holdings, nothing. Just grazing land. We're still pillaging this? We are indeed. We could commit suicide and settle as a feudal now. That would utterly destroy us. Surrounded by all the horse lords. Okay, now we need to wait for our uh, manpower to regrow. Isn't great. In action in these situations isn't great, but what we could do... Ah, uh, no, thank you, I don't care so much for my girl. But yes, yeah, sorry. What I could do... is declare war, conquest of this, and just send my dudes in there, my, my tributaries. Let's do that. Just send all of these. All of our levies. Right. We're not even going to move a little bit. Go siege. Ah, finally we can organize a p expedition. And it's a cheap one too. That's good. We're not going to yield us all that much. But that's fine. How large is our garrison? 320. Let's build this up because the capital of a nomad tribe is really important. And we do have the money right now. Our dude is doing what he's doing? Yes, he is. Good.
Where is he going? He's going there, isn't he? Alright, let's fight him there. And this guy is attached to us. We shall have the most expensive thing that we can give him. No, we're going to ruin our relationships internally rather than externally for this. Because we want this expedition to be successful. Yes. Okay, fine. Apparently, we're still going to go to war. There we go. 100 gold, 150 prestige. Lovely. And he shall be rewarded with a whole six gold. Taken a few prisoners. So let us go ahead and ransom everyone. Get more money. I didn't really plan on doing that, but... <sighs> you guys know me and my plans by now. They don't always get to where I want them to be. Well, at least there's gold in sieging. I have so few people in there. Let's just attack. Oh, there we go. This is a siege. A siege worthy of the name. All right. So unless Kazaria decides to be a bad neighbor, we're in a good spot. See if we can't get a non-aggression pack there. Oh. You have so many sons and you don't want to have one given away. Quite terrible. Okay. Then we go look at the next, next big dog out there. Really, I, I think this is kind of pointless. We really need to go through this. Nepali, Bengali. Ah. Kyrgyz. But, but. Kyrgyz is probably our best bet. Guys, here. Would you like to have an alliance now? Still not. Would like both glory and money. Thank you very much. We will pump those fortifications crazy high. Crazy high. <laughs> 